tonight. All of our servers for the great service, the great food. Thank you so much. We'd just be a bunch of people sitting here giving each other awards without you. Um, we also want to uh, give a very special thank you to our sponsors for the evening. Um, let's recognize Horicon. If you could give us a wave, stand up so we can recognize you. Horicon Bank, thank you very much. Uh, Kraft Heinz, where are you guys? Okay, there you are. Thank you for coming. Uh, Security Health Plan of Wisconsin. Over there and at the bar, thank you. Uh, and the Peter J. Seipel Foundation, thank you so much. That wasn't much of a wave. <laughs> you can't be uh, shy wearing a suit like that, so. All right, uh, we could not do this without you, so thank you so much for your sponsorship. Um, we also want to th say thank you to Good Karma Broadcasting, now in the back, we, this is all being streamed live. Thank you very much um, for live streaming and uh, our Chamber Ambassadors, yeah, our, our other hosts for this evening. Thank you so much, you spread out throughout the room by their green jackets. Thank you very much. Thank you for all you do in the community. All right, I would now like to invite Cassandra uh, Schmidt up <laughs> uh, of Modern Woodman and our Chamber Board Secretary. I always struggle with the titles. Uh, to introduce our first awards category. All right, thank you. Are you taking that? Yeah. He was gonna take the script and then I wouldn't know what to say. <laughs> all right, um, so am I talking first, Tracy, then you're playing the video? Maybe. Okay, okay. The five under 40 awards, they honor Beaver Dam area's brightest young leaders who have demonstrated success in their careers and the communities they represent. While still called the five under 40 awards, due to a tie this year, we are awarding six individuals um, this evening. With the large amount of outstanding applicants, we did not feel it was worth bringing in uh -oh, um, to break the tie. Here are the 2022 Five Under 40 Award winners.
When he's not making the community a healthier place, Drew is also a youth basketball coach at the YMCA and is a group leader at Edgewood Community Church. Drew is married to his high school sweetheart, Danielle Hammer, and has three children, Eliana, 10, Charles, 8, and Adeline, 6. Emily McFarland. Emily McFarland is the sales and marketing manager at T3 Manufacturing in Beaver Dam. Mary Vogel Rauscher nominated Emily and stated, quote, Emily is an excellent example of a servant leader. She served as president for the Dodge Home Society for Human Resource Management Organization and was part of the team that coordinated two diversity, equity, and inclusion conferences for Dodge County, which won their group a national award, unquote. Emily has been an ambassador for the Chamber of Commerce for almost 10 years and has volunteered for Habitat for Humanity, 4-H, and many other community events with the Chamber. Emily is a devoted employee, earning her multiple promotions and awards throughout her tenure at Remedy Intelligent Staffing and has now taken the leap to T3 Manufacturing to pioneer a new startup company and rotational molding. Emily lives in Beaver Dam with her children Liam, 9, at Brooklyn, 6. Her family is a huge part of her success and has supported Emily in her career path from the beginning. Emily enjoys hiking, camping, horseback riding, and exploring new outdoor adventures with her children, friends, and family. Yes, there's always laundry at home. Chelsea Seibel. Chelsea grew up in Vail, Colorado, and Beaver Dam. She recently relocated to her childhood home in town and eagerly became engaged with multiple organizations to help make Beaver Dam a more thriving and vibrant community. As president of the Peter J. Seibel Foundation, a nonprofit philanthropic perpetual foundation designed to enhance the lives of family and communities worldwide, Chelsea coordinates business affairs and activities to assist other nonprofit organizations. She also serves as executive director for the Seibel Center for Music and the Arts, which houses music studios, various classes, exhibits, event space, and provides a variety of free concerts and programs for the community. Chelsea has had a lifelong passion for helping others. Her educational background includes a doctorate in counseling psychology, a master's in marriage and family therapy, several life coaching, art history, and business planning certifications, and an accreditation in teaching English as a second language. While living in the San Francisco Bay Area, Chelsea worked as a school counselor and founded Cycle Coaching and Consulting. She also volunteered with numerous charities, including her experience as president of the Bay Area Arthritis Auxiliary and Make-A-Wish Foundation's Young Professionals Board. She also chaired many committees and events for the San Francisco and Chicago Junior League, as well as the Symphony, Ballet, and Opera Leagues. Locally, Chelsea serves as a board member of the Beaver Dam Area Community Theater and PAVE. She is an officer of the Beaver Dam Elks Lodge, a member of the advisory committee for the Beaver Dam Area Foundation, and participates with various organizations such as Whale Academy's Engagement Committee, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and the Women's Auxiliary, to name a few. Chelsea enjoys spending quality time with friends, family, her two cats, and beloved dog Mozart, and is excited to be a part of the local community. Stacy Shane. Stacy Shane is the owner and director of sales at Sloverland Furniture. Stacy has spent almost 21 years working for the company, and in the last 10 years, she and her husband Jeff took a huge leap to become the owners. Since taking ownership, they have built Slumberland Beaver Dam into a multi-million dollar company, expanded to a second store in Watertown, and they have grown their family with their daughter McKenna. Stacy was nominated by Sherry Sackett, and Sherry attributes her success to treating her staff like family and having a strong sense of community. Stacy has been a top million dollar writer for their store group and achieved salesperson of the month for years for her overall store performance, recognized as a top performer in the top 10 rankings for their store group, and received Business of the Year Award in 2013 for their Watertown location. Stacy is a board member of the Beaver Dam Scholarship Foundation and hosts women in business meetings every quarter with the Chamber of Commerce. She also donates her time to families in need and military veterans in events such as Hope for the Holidays and Heroes for Heroes, as well as events for the community such as Easter egg hunts, Santa greets, and collaborates with the Chamber and Good Karma to bring free outdoor movies to the Slumberland parking lot and does a lot of charitable donations around Dodge and Jefferson counties to keep your dollars local. Stephanie Tajeski. <laughs> Stephanie Tajeski has a doctorate in chiropractic and a master's in nutrition and human performance and is part of Tajeski Family Chiropractic in Beaver Dam. 
Stephanie is passionate about educating the community on natural health and wellness, chiropractic, nutrition, and diseases. She holds free health and wellness classes monthly and has written articles to Inspire Magazine to educate their readers on how to be healthier in their daily lives. Stephanie is also very involved at Trinity Church United Methodist, where she is a leader at church camp, sings in the choir, and also plays the handbells. Stephanie is married to Dr. Josh Tajewski and lives in Beaver Dam with her dogs Adam, Sparky, and Odie. Congratulations, five under 40 award winners. All right, I was told if I hold the microphone higher, it won't cut out. Okay, I would like to first invite um, Mayor Gluen, Representative Mark Bourne, is he here? And then U.S. Representative uh, from Glenn Grothman's office up. Are any of them here? Oh, we just want to recognize them? Okay, it said to invite them up. Okay, all right. Okay, so first, I would like to have Matthew Berg come up. Would you like to say a few words? Yeah, uh, I'll keep it brief because I know we got to keep this moving. But uh, I guess first I'd like to thank the, the voting committee. Um, obviously, it's an honor to be up here tonight receiving this award with all the other great recipients. Uh, I also have to thank my wife and family for all their love and support, uh, really, in anything I do. Um, I also have to thank my two mentors, Al Schwab and Terry O'Connor. Um, truly just great people uh, and really good at what they do. So I wouldn't be up here today if it weren't for the, the two of you. So thank you. Um, and finally, I'd like to just thank the community of Beaver Dam. Um, I had a lot of opportunity growing up here uh, to succeed based on all the other professionals making a positive impact on this community. Um, and now being back as a working professional, if I can have a helping hand in making this community grow and be a better place now and in the future, um, that's all I could ask for. So uh, thank you, everyone. I'll stop there and have a good night. Thanks. All right, pictures after. Okay, uh, Drew Hammer. Would you like to say a few words? Oh, absolutely. Uh, th thank you so much for having me uh, to be among Beaver Dam's uh, 5 under 40, which I found out is 6 under 40, which, let's be honest, I was the top. Um, that's okay. I mean, I've got another year of eligibility and I look forward to that. So, um, but I do want to say thank you to Marshfield Medical Center Beaver Dam. Um, Dr. Deering nominated me, Angelia Foster gave me the opportunity to be a director at the hospital and I'm a physician assistant and in my nomination letter, Dr. Deering shared that a uh, physician assistant's never been the director of a department in the hospital's history or in Marshfield's history and actually, as far as I'm aware, the state contacted me in the state's history and so um, it is a huge honor and it took real bravery and foresight or, you know, to, to trust that to put me in charge of a department, and um, I just really cannot thank you enough for that opportunity. Of course, I want to thank my wife. Uh, if anyone's met my, my wife, Danielle, she is way out of my league. Um, the other day, I haven't even told you a story. At work the other day, someone said, I wonder what my high school teachers think of what I'm doing these days. My wife is a high school sweetheart. I said, well, that's easy. I know my high school teachers are saying, like, the greatest accomplishment Drew has made is marrying Danielle. Like, he definitely married up, and she probably settled. And so, um, and of course, to the, to the Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much. I want to say I've been dreaming of this moment my entire life, but I heard the award's only a few years old. So, um, but I will work hard to, to serve this community. This community, I didn't grow up here, but I now call it home. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate this. This is a great night. Emily McFarlane. All right, 
true? Well, I get to follow that, so. <laughs> uh, no, thank you so much to Mary Vogel Bauscher for the nomination. Um, it's been a decade plus of support and guidance and mentorship, so love you like a sister. Thank you so much, Mary, and to my family who's here. Woohoo! Uh, there's no way that any of this could be done professionally or developmentally without um, your support and everything. Thank you to the ambassadors, fellow ambassadors of the um, Beaver Dam Chamber of Commerce. So that's all. Thank you to the community. Um, let's keep growing and fostering growth throughout the Beaver Dam community and making sure that we make this a place that we all want to raise kids and, and grow together. That's it. Thanks. Stacy Shane. This is so nervous. I don't know how people do this. This is insane for public speaking. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much to Sherry. Uh, the nomination really means a lot. I just, I love you so much. Your radio station and the relationship that we've built over the years has been absolutely tremendous and super awesome. And we are so thankful at Slumberland Furniture to be part of this really wonderful community. Um, Jeff and I really, we've been, we've been here now for, gosh, I don't know, like 15, 15 years, I think, here in Beaver Dam. And the whole community has really welcomed us and really taken us in. And we really could not ask for a better community to serve. So thank you so very much. Chelsea Seipel. I hadn't intended to say anything, but when in Rome, since everybody else says thank you to the chamber and all my colleagues um, for this award, I'm honored. And I'd like to thank all of you and the community, especially my dear friends and family, for really supporting me and welcoming, welcoming me and making me, you know, so proud to call Beaver Dam my home and feel like it's home. So thank you all. <laughs> Dr. Stephanie Tijeski. Uh, I did write a few words because public speaking is not my forte. Um, but I do want to take a minute to thank those uh, who have continued to support my passion of helping people be the healthiest that they can be. Um, I'd first like to thank my mother-in-law, Joanne, who nominated me, um, as well as my father-in-law, Dr. Jerry Tijeski, um, for accepting me into their business and allowing me to take care of patients and the community. I'd also like to thank Inspire Magazine. I think I did see Denise uh, way in the back there. Um, for giving me a platform to share my knowledge with others. Um, I'd also like to thank the staff of Tycheski Family Chiropractic, uh, who ensure every patient is cared for. I could not do what I do without them. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank my husband, Josh Tycheski, um, and my parents who have always loved and supported me throughout my career, and thank you all. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Melanie Booty of Booty Realty, our board chair elect. Hi, everyone. All right, so many of our high school and post secondary students play a vital role in our businesses, organizations, and in our community. The Emerging Leader Award recognizes a high school or post-secondary student who has made a significant impact and positive difference through their leadership their activities and or their work initiatives. Award recipients are honored for being a community-oriented, professional, responsible, and academically prepared leader. Oh, a $200 chamber check is given to the recipient. Let's meet our award winner. Samuel Bain. Samuel Bain is owner and operator of Cutting Edge Lawn Services, Wisconsin, LLC. 
He is a senior from Henry Friedland High School, and we believe one of the youngest business owners to join the Beaverdam Area Chamber of Commerce. His FDL advisor, Lori Arns, wrote, quote, Samuel has always been a leader and now follower since I met him in middle school. At 13, he started mowing lawns. He has taken several business and accounting classes and created his business expansion plan through Future Business Leaders of America. He is also certified in turf and landscape pesticide application. He competed last year at FBLA and earned his way to nationals in June 2022. Since then, he expanded his business into snow plowing, added equipment, another business vehicle, and employees. Sam now has over 50 regular clients between snow removal and lawn care in a 15-mile radius of Beaver Dam. Sam understands the responsibility of being a business owner. He is accountable and is very customer-focused. He actively prospects new customers, does his own scheduling, completes his own estimations, billing, collections, and marketing, unquote. Also, one of Sam's customers said, quote, the lawn services Sam provides are done exceptionally well and our grounds have never looked better. He takes care of every detail and I feel he completes a task with perfection and expects the same of his employees. It is astonishing to me that he is running a successful business and going to high school full time, unquote. Sam is the president of the Senior Class of 2023, Business Manager of the Yearbook, Treasurer of the FBLA Chapter, a member of FFA taking agriculture courses to enhance his knowledge of landscaping and lawn care, and was a member of the band. He's also on student council, participates in fundraising and community service events through school, including Community Service Day, and raising funds for FBLA activities. After graduation, Sam plans to continue to grow his business by expansion and is taking courses in engine repair to be able to make his own repairs. He's also pursuing a degree in landscape horticulture. <laughs> Sam's parents are Sid and Jane Bain, and he has a sister, Sarah. Congratulations, Samuel! Would the very impressive Samuel Bame come forward for your award? All right, I'm going to turn it back over to Josh. That's mine. That's mine. Leave it alone. Now, if you heard, I did not recommend my wife for this. Not because I didn't believe she was she she deserves it, but because I tried previously and was told that the judges could not read the application. <laughs> so <laughs> I figured I'd leave that to someone else this year. All right, the Beaverdam Chamber uh, Beaverdam Chamber of Commerce Innovation Awards seek to inspire, celebrate, and encourage an environment of positive change making innovations by honoring innovative companies, organizations in the Beaverdam area. With three categories, let's meet our Innovative Awards Largest Business Category winner, WDS Construction. Where are you? Give us a wave. Oh, there you are. I would like to invite Ryan Henning to come. Oh, what you doing? Large Business Innovation, WDS Construction. WDS Construction is an innovative construction solutions provider working with clients throughout the United States for almost two decades. The YMCA approached WDS Construction about expanding their weight room by adding a second floor to their old racquetball courts. To give them a second floor, WDS needed to install a 40-foot long beam with very little clearance between the existing walls of the racquetball courts. Numerous ideas were pitched on how to make this happen, but the WDS team ultimately proposed removing one of the exterior concrete wall panels. This allowed them to have an 8-foot wide hole to get the beam into the building. Removing the wall panel, which weighed 28,000 pounds, also allowed a mini excavator to remove the old slab, dig new footings for the structural steel, and set the new structural steel with the telehandler. Using the mini excavator and telehandler allowed the test to be completed efficiently and safely, ultimately reducing the project's schedule time and saving the client money. While the second floor was being constructed, the WDS team also constructed a temporary insulated wall with doors to seal the building from the elements. After the second floor was installed, the WDS crew removed the temporary wall, reinstalled the existing concrete wall panel, and sealed the building back up. You would never know that the panel was removed if you were to walk by. 
This is just one example of how WDS construction can be innovative in solving a problem. They're often called upon to help manufacturing, food processing, and cold storage clients with solutions that minimize disruptive downtime resulting in lost revenues and allow the real work of clients to still get done. WDS approaches every project, no matter how large or small, with a philosophy founded on creating a client experience that drives the betterment of clients' businesses and the communities they serve. Congratulations, WDS Construction. Now I would like to invite Ryan to of WDS to accept the award and say a few words. Thank you. Um, I'd like to also like to invite Nick Tommaso up here with me to accept this award. Um, Nick and I worked together on this project, and to be honest, Nick took uh, most of the project here, so um, he definitely uh, deserves it. But I wanted to thank uh, Dirk and the entire YMCA team. Uh, they were a great uh, owner to deal with, uh, to work with, and um, as you can see, we... Uh, had a fun project. <laughs> um, also, would like to thank Stanley Harmson. Um, Stan, give a wave. There you go. Um, Stan has helped us uh, start the Special Services Division and has had uh, 40 years of uh, construction experience. He was the one that ultimately pitched the idea of removing the concrete panel. And uh, I asked him many times if he was serious about that, and he said, yes, we're serious about it. So, um, But uh, also, just really honored to uh, accept the award on behalf of WDS Construction. Uh, I grew up in Beaver Dam um, and have been in the community my entire life, and um, it's really no better place to live and work. So um, thank you to everybody um, who came tonight, and um, thanks for making it an awesome community. I'm very excited to announce our winner for the Innovation Awards for Small Business Category. Art on the Town, Wisconsin, the studio. Art on the Town, Wisconsin, the studio is a community space where everyone can learn to create and express themselves through art. Owner Chris Schumacher Rasmussen understands that art can be an expensive hobby for some, especially if you give up after buying all the supplies. That's why Chris's idea of providing art supplies at a low cost and also leading lessons and events for people to develop their talents was such an innovative idea. Chris has dedicated herself to creating a welcoming, accessible space where customers of any age, <coughs> skill level, or experience can make their own creations in a wide range of media, from pottery and canvas to fabric and wood, and making learning art more accessible. Additionally, Art on the Town has provided a focal point for Beaver Dam's creative community by hosting events that foster artistic growth and build connections. Chris's husband Eric and children Marin and Isaac can also be found helping out at Art on the Town Wisconsin, the studio. Congratulations, Art on the Town Wisconsin, the studio. Nice. I would like to invite Chris Schumacher to come up um, and say a few words. Good evening, everybody. All right, I have my notes on my phone. Okay, so um, I'm a teacher here. I've been teaching here for many years. And uh, I'm originally from Calumet County, and we decided to make Beaver Dam our home in the 1990s, so that might date it right there a little bit. Anyway, um, this is an idea I've had for uh, 15 years, so it's been really fun making this come to light. We opened our doors two weeks before the lockdown in 2020. So we were also discussing tonight how exciting it is that we've come through that time, and we want to thank everyone in our community for coming forward and supporting us. I see many familiar faces here tonight. Uh, some former students, Emily, whoop, nice job, and uh, some other fantastic folks that we've gotten to know through having the business. So I'd like to thank my husband and partner, Eric. We just bought the building uh, in June, and uh, whoop, yeah, okay, we are finding all kinds of things. Anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to say this. So I want to thank WEDC and uh, Retail Works out of Milwaukee. They are a team who's helping us through our makeover grant. June 5 is our big 
day, our makeover day so you'll all be invited where he's going to smoke some pork so we'll have some great sandwiches and yummies. Um, so come on down for that. That's our makeover day on June 5. I'd like to thank my children, Myron, Marin and Isaac, um, Ann and Tom Clark who've helped me from the beginning. My mother-in-law, Sonia Utterback, is there who's been a supporter of mine for the entire time. Uh, Tracy Probst and Mayor Becky Gluen who've been there all along. Uh, WDC, like I said, my fabulous staff, um, our fabulous customers, and everyone that supported us and helped us along the way. So thank you very much. We continue to grow, and we're moving upstairs with a stained glass studio. So come on down. I have to find my thing here. All right, in our Innovation Awards nonprofit organization category, the honor goes to Green Valley Enterprises, a division of Opportunities Incorporated. Opportunities Inc. Opportunities Inc. of Jefferson County and Green Valley Enterprises Inc. of Beaver Dam formally merged on June 1st, 2022. Their combined missions have enabled the organizations to expand service choices and social enterprises, while boldly advancing the lives of people with diverse abilities, backgrounds, and life circumstances. This strategic action will ensure long-term organizational sustainability while building upon the pioneering spirit of the collective leadership and team. Opportunities Inc. and Green Valley Enterprises will collectively serve over 5,000 individuals in a host of mission services, including GVE Life Academy, Birth to Three, School to Work Transition for Youth, Vocational Training and Employment, Corporate Guardianship, Community Engagement, Independent Life Skills, and a multitude of professional career paths through social enterprising. Great things are only the beginning. Congratulations, Green Valley Enterprises, a division of Opportunities, Inc. I would now like to invite Barb LaDuke of Opportunities, Inc. to come forward and accept the award and say a few words. Congratulations. Well, good evening. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank um, Tracy and the entire Beaver Dam Chamber of Commerce and the community just for their support um, with, uh, with Green Valley um, and Opportunities Incorporated through this transition. It's only happened since June. Seems like it's been a lot longer because we've been working on it for a while. And I really, really want to thank the Board of Directors of the Green Valley Enterprises in having this vision to have two organizations come together, especially in these times where sustainability is such an important part to ensure the lives of our most vulnerable are taken care of now and into the future. So that's been very, very exciting. I want to thank the original team of Green Valley Enterprises who are here tonight with us because without their dedication and support and believing in the culture of Opportunities Incorporated and going from Green Valley the way it was to kind of where it is today. Um, I couldn't say enough. We have Meredith Winning. We have Cassie Hurst. We have Leah Vis uh, Vispelic. Um, and I, I just can't say enough thank you. We have a large group of people here tonight um, that really are making this happen. And, and one of the great things um, for us as Opportunities Incorporated, there are so many synergies between the, between the two companies that we really decided if by taking best practices of each of our organizations together, we can really thrive. And, and in starting our strategic planning process and some of the great ideas that are going to come to this Dodge County rural community and Jefferson County rural community, I just see really great things on, on the horizon for that. So um, I thank the community. You have been so open and so willing to be part of this transition. It was, it was hard, right, because GVE has been part of the staple and so important. The, the ability for them to sustain as long as they did was because of this community. Um, and I just really cannot thank you enough, one, for helping them sustain all this time, and two, for being so open to have opportunities 
to come and, and partner with Green Valley Enterprises as we continue to go through. And I want to thank my entire team that is here as well that, that are part of opportunities. You are going to see Al Schrader, who's our, our new Vice President of Mission Services. He's here most often. And um, we have, um, I'm sorry, just, it, it just slipped me. Um, Megan? And then who else do we have here, Peggy? Andrew. Sorry, Andrew Gitman. I just got Gitman. I couldn't remember Andrew. I'm so sorry. Um, but, you know, the individuals that you're going to see here more often um, within because we really are transferring a lot of work and products up here. So please come to tour. Come to visit. Um, we are really blessed. And I'll say one last thing. As one of my favorite um, individuals that have lived on this earth, Mother Teresa said, together we can do great things. So please, I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. All right. We also want to give uh, some innovation award honorable mentions to each of the categories. We received so many great applica applications and want to share their inspiring stories. Large Business Innovation Award Honorable Mention, Armor Animal Health. Since the inception of Armor Animal Health over 40 years ago, Jim and Ruth Metz have always been at the forefront of innovation. Their goal to improve animal health and to provide product choices to producers is the foundation of Armor. To this day, the company still believes in this model. Armor started seeking alternative options for disease variations not covered in commercially available vaccines. The team worked with customers and vaccine manufacturers to import laboratories to create several custom vaccines. These new products allow for flexible vaccine options for customers. Armor Animal Health has helped animals across the country live longer, healthier lives by focusing on disease prevention through veterinary guidance and the use of innovative vaccines. Small Business Innovation Award Honorable Mention, Ovens Peony Farm. Ovens Peony Farm is the largest stem cut peony farm in Wisconsin, having 1,500 peony plants with 82 varieties and is owned by Mike and Michelle Ovens. Anything that Beaver Dam and Dodge County can do to differentiate itself from surrounding communities makes it more attractive for visitors to come and spend time and money here. Michelle approached the Chamber and the Tourism Committee about creating a festival for arts and beauties. She has created a unique spot for visitors to dine, to art, to gather, to photograph, and to simply have fun and create relationships. Owen's Beauty Farm has indeed made a lovely mark on our citizens and our visitors, and has been instrumental in creating a unique peony exhibit along the Riverwalk and bringing the 2025 National Peony Society to Beaver Dam. Nonprofit Innovation Award Honorable Mention, Unmasked Expressive Therapies. Tammy Jo Delisle founded Unmasked Expressive Therapies in 2016. Her mission is to therapeutically assist in the discovery, renewal, and celebration of the unique qualities of all individuals through expressive arts therapies. Tammy encourages people to make their mark in a community, helping them see and be seen in a beauty made together. Striving to work with people in every stage of life, this nonprofit has led and contributed to several events that allow creativity to bring soul into our community, including art supplies for Afghan refugees, memories in the making dementia programs, painted tables at the playground movement, and Habitat for Humanity's Rock the Block event at Chippy's Popcorn. Together in Junto's four murals during the Beaver Dam Racial Justice Group Summer Celebration event, and helping to grow the Mad Street Art Initiative. These and more facilitate healing from the inside out by encouraging personal expression and creative potential. Congratulations to our Innovation Award Honorable Mentions. I would now like to thank Health, Ovens Peony Farm, and Expressive Art Therapies to please come forward to receive your Certificate of Commendation. Tracy made me do it. 
Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, the community. Um, as you can saw in the presentation, it was perfect. It said everything that needed to be said. Um, Armor has been around for many years, also known as Animart, growing out of the pet store, now into our corporate division here in Beaver Dam. Uh, community support to allow us to grow and keep Jim and Ruth Metz philosophy in line uh, for the health of our animals. And uh, keeping antibiotics out of the industry is really the goal of Jim and keeping it at a good cost for the farmers. Um, so we don't have the pharmaceutical world, luckily of the humans in the animal world. Uh, special thank you to Pam and Leslie here tonight in our professional services department that support our veterinarians on the field that advocated for this program. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for this award. I'd like to especially thank my husband for the man that uh, he doesn't run away when I said, I, whenever I say, I've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, without him by my side, this wouldn't happen. And I also like to um, thank the chamber and the mayor for um, partnering with me. Um, our goal is to have Beaver Dam become the Midwest destination for beanie lovers, and um, and bring in the tourism. So um, thank you all very much. And also, I guess I'm not the best for last, but here I am. Um, I frequently tell people I'm under the cover of darkness or in Beaver Dam hiding under the green awnings. Um, it is my job at Unmasked Expressive Therapies to give voices to the voiceless. Um, so I thank all of you for this surprising award um, and the opportunity to be here tonight. <laughs> thank you again to everyone. I think we've heard tonight multiple times what a great city this is, how welcoming, how, um, how we'll do anything to help support each other, and I thank everyone here tonight again. Um, thank you for joining us, and thank you for our sponsors again, Horicon Bank, Kraft Heinz, Security Health Plan of Wisconsin, and the Peter J. Seipel Foundation. Also, again, thank you to Good Karma Broadcasting and Old Hickory Golf Club and our ambassadors. Um, a big congratulations to the award recipients. Don't go anywhere. We will need pictures. Um, everyone else, enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a safe ride home, and thank you very much for supporting Beaver Dam Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you.